Hi, my name is Ryan. I'm a Utah-based videographer and I have an incredible passion for what I do. When I was 15, as a freshman in high school, I picked up a camera for the very first time and I immediately fell in love with the creative process. When I wasn't in school or running my paper route, I was in the darkroom developing my film from the days prior. I originally learned on a 35 millimeter camera processing my own film and that was amazing. Back then, life was more simple though. And at that point, I thought that I really wanted to be a photographer, but I made the mistake of listening to my friends telling me that I couldn't make money as a photographer or that I'd have to be really amazing to make it work. So back to the grindstone I went, finishing high school early, in college before the rest of my class graduated, my sights set on the business world. My goal, working at a marketing firm, making TV ads and other promotional materials. So after college, I went to work for a number of companies, never truly satisfied. I tried my hand at owning my own business. At one point, we had two pizza restaurants. At first, I was thrilled to be my own boss, but the excitement wore off when we adopted three children, all in a period of four months. I knew that something had to change. I could no longer allow myself to work 100 hours plus a week because my boys needed me more than pizza did. That is when Ryan Hender Films was born. At last, I was able to take my love of photography and my writing skills and, and really put them to work in a way that I never thought possible. Now, I do wedding videos, adoption profiles, music videos, and more. Whether it be a simple backyard wedding or million dollar weddings, I've done it all. I have a passion for the locals and small business. I've even done work for companies like Lincoln and for Volvo. But hands down, the most rewarding part of my job is getting to work on wedding videos. I choose to believe that her influence simply made him want to be a better person. And just like that, he was. Something changed after he started spending considerable time with his Gamma Phi baby, started seeing uh, towards the end of his college years. Mike became less concerned with whether or not the common folk viewed him as cool. He began to think less about himself and his own happiness and chose to put effort into something greater. He became a nicer, more well-rounded version of himself and he genuinely seemed happy. My favorite part is putting together the highlight film because this part is incredible. My dad told me when I was a young man that I'm going to need big friends because i got a big mouth. And... Um, it's, uh, it's going to get me here for a second, but uh, I met Will about 15 years ago, and I was able to meet my big friend. And uh, he's had my back, and he's been there for me through everything. And so big means something different than just stature, just size. It means heart. It means someone who's going to stand by your side and be there. It means someone who's going to take two beautiful girls and be part of their life and hold them and support them with everything that he has. It means that these parents are going to help all the other people and in return for Brittany's side I know as well. I just want to tell you guys I love you and I'm there for you and I always will be. So everybody raise your cup and raise it high for the big men in your life are there to support you. Thank you. It's like a movie preview, taking all of the absolute best moments and compressing them into a short film that truly captivates the audience. Today is truly the best day of my life. Your smile, compassion, energy, heart, and ability to love selflessly is rare, and I am privileged to be standing here today as yours. I promise to strive every day for your love, to be faithful, supportive, and to always make our family's love and happiness my priority. I want to make you feel like you're in that very moment. I want anyone who happens to watch this video to be able to know exactly how those two people felt at that moment on that day. Think about it for a second. We all have rough days. Being married is not exactly a walk in the park, but what is important is remembering how you felt about each other that day and why you did it in the first place. I use professional sound equipment and I include audio from the ceremony and other speeches throughout the day. All of this because I want you to be able to look back 10, 15 years from now and relive that day and remember why you did it in the first place. 
When I talk to married couples, the most common regret I hear is that they wish they hired a professional videographer to help them remember that day. I will never be the cheapest videographer in the business. I pour my heart and soul into each one of my productions. With me, you get someone who knows the ropes. I do dozens of weddings each year and I always over deliver. I would love to be your guy. If you're getting married or you want a promotional film put together, give me a call.